Devin's yelling at me, but I can't help it. I get nervous when he's sitting there looking at me. With those judgmental expressions. Thank you very much for the subforce armor. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the remainder of the stream. Add. Now that I have concluded the housekeeping for the stream, let's get back to commentating. Three, BB two, versus Castar, man. Go. Oh yeah, there's plenty to say about this matchup. For example, it's very hard for Pichu for two primary reasons. The first one is Pichu likes to approach with projectiles. He loves to approach with those thunder jolts. You know, something Pikachu likes to do, too. Hero's bounce 
So half the time, he's just not going to be able to do that as an option. And unlike Pikachu, he does not have up special to uh, also approach with like Pikachu does. On top of that, Hero's got all the explosive kill power going on. You know, against the character. Goodbye, Pikachu. Against the character whose health damages and is the lightest character in the game. But we get past our man. I love how he's tilting his shield. He's like, oh no, I'm not letting you hit me. I can't let these hits make contact. But unfortunately, Hero has one of the best. Best anti airs in the game with that beautiful up tilt, that all encompassing, all consuming up tilt. My god damn, it's a little mouse versus. The hero. He's the hero. He's quite literally the protagonist. Protagonists don't know what edgeguard situations are. They got zoomed! Gold 1 2. Doesn't even get a back throw. VD's got a fast mash. And there's the kaboom. Castro Man read the menu, actually, I think. But now Castro Man probably will die to up throw, which means not even shielding a lot will be helpful here. But we'll see. Oh, missed tech. Caster Man doesn't get anything off it, though. Recovery, forward air, and BB just falls past the ledge. Very interesting. Just a respawn psych up. Caster Man's got to be sweating for these up tilts now. And there's the double buff. Now he really can't. Sh yeah. He can't even shield that. Double buff hero just busts that shield into a million pieces. It is regrettable. Oh, Castor Man was waiting for the getup attack too, but Hero has a surprisingly slow getup attack, so. Castor Man just got kind of nailed anyway. Oof. Rocks. Raw smashes? I was expecting a raw smash there. You know, I'm not the hero main. But this is Pichu. It could have just killed, for all I know. Castor Man, he's in. A whole world of danger, but he's doing his best. As Pichu's do. Oh my god. There's the bounce. There's the flame slash. There's the spells. My man is just casting magic. There it is. Why not? Why not run up and up tilt like a room to. Oh! Oh, 103. And Vivi takes it over Caster Man. 2 0. In an exciting set, but unfortunately it was not to be for Castar Man. He'll get his chance, though. He will get his chance. Jesus, that forward tilt killed so early, but that's what you get with double buffed hero. The man breaks shields and breaks so breaks stocks. And that was a very strange death right there. Maybe Vivi was expecting either to uh actually let's have a look right there. Let's see. Let's see what happened here. So Vivi has to have their jump right now. Okay, so there's the jump. Maybe Vivi just forgot they had their jump. And was just like, I'm going to press jump. And then didn't. It's hard to say for sure what happened in that situation. What else have we got? Ah, uh, yes, double buffed hero. Literally anything will kill. And he had to drop his shield there because it definitely would have broken. Or even if it... Wouldn't have definitely broken. Kester Man thought it might have broken, I think, in that situation. And there's the up throw. Look at Hero. <laughs> Go, my child. Go. Very nice. The next setup will be Dark Blues versus Helper.